The fourth trumpet, unnatural darkness, Revelation 8 verse 12. Revelation 8 verse 12 The fourth angel sounded his trumpet, and a third of the sun was struck, a third of the moon, and a third of the stars, so that a third of them turned dark. A third of the day was without light, and also a third of the night. The fourth trumpet affects the sun, moon, and stars, reducing their light by one-third. Darkness is a common symbol of terror and the end of the world. The reduction of light will increase terror and make food production less effective. Like the other trumpets, this unnatural darkness recalls the plague of darkness in Exodus 10 verses 21 to 23. Darkness is often associated with God's judgment in the Old Testament. Amos 5 verse 18 describes the day of the Lord as darkness, not light, and Joel 2 verse 2 calls is a day of darkness and gloom, a day of clouds and blackness. Isaiah 13 verse 10 describes the day of the Lord for Babylon as a time when the stars of heaven and their constellations will not show their light. The rising sun will be darkened and the moon will not give its light. Similarly, in the Olivet Discourse Jesus says just prior to the coming of the Son of Man, the sun will be darkened, and the moon will not give its light, and the stars will be falling from heaven, and the powers in the heavens will be shaken. Mark 13 verses 24 to 25. As we move into verse 12, the judgments that, until now, have affected only earth, begin to affect the heavens. There are really two scenarios in these two verses. The first is the result of the sounding of the fourth trumpet. Things get a bit dark when this happens. One-third of the sun is darkened. One-third of the moon is darkened. One-third of the stars are darkened. While it seems that this judgment occurs in the heavens, the effects on earth would be monumental. One-third less light would disrupt the ecology of the earth in significant ways. The temperature of the earth would decrease, there would be less water and more ice. Plants would not undergo the photosynthesis needed to thrive and produce our food, the weather would change significantly, and so much more. In addition to the effects on ecology, there would be significant effects on humans. Seasonal depression, an increase in occurrence and severity of depression during the winter when days are darker and drearier, is a very real thing. If the earth were one-third darker day and night, it is highly likely that the incidence of depression would rise sharply, leading to increased suicide and violence. Add the effects of this judgment to the previous seals and trumpets and one begins to get a picture of worldwide destruction. It would be nice if this were the end of the judgments, but verse 13 tells us that things that are much worse are yet to come. Suddenly John sees an eagle flying overhead. It is crying out with a loud voice and saying, Woe, woe, woe to those who dwell on the earth, at the blasts of the other trumpets that the three angels are about to blow. Daniel said that, after 2,300 days, the sanctuary will be cleansed. One the fourth trumpet completes this cleansing. Daniel 8 verse 14. When the fourth angel sounds, a third of the sun and moon and stars are darkened. These represent the kingdom of heaven, and this darkening represents the final cleansing of the lawless. Only the saints remain. The truth is fully restored, and the desolation of the kingdom of heaven has come to an end. This ends the war with the beast and the false prophet, as described in Daniel 9 verse 26. Till the end of the war desolations are determined.
All those in the kingdom of God are now filled with the Holy Spirit. The fourth trumpet is the hour to reap the harvest described in Revelation 14 verses 14 to 20. The grapes are now fully ripe, the fullness of the Gentiles has come in, too here. The angels reveal themselves as manifestations of the Spirit of Christ to signify one body. One, like the Son of Man, three watches from the cloud. Another cries out with a loud voice, four as the archangel. In the last verse of Revelation 14, the Spirit of Christ as the rider on the white horse treads on the winepress outside the city, and blood came out from the winepress. Up to the horse's bridles, five his appearance at the end of Revelation 14 signifies that the saints are now in one body. As Paul said, we were all baptized by one spirit into one body. Six, this one body represents the fulfillment of Jesus' prayer that we all become one. There are two bowls of wrath that correspond to the fourth trumpet. In the fourth bowl of wrath, men are burned by the brightness of the sun. Seven, the apostle Paul told us that Christ would destroy the lawless one through the brightness of his coming. Point eight, in the fifth bowl of wrath, the angel poured out his bowl on the throne of the beast, and his kingdom was completely darkened. Point nine, the worshippers of the beast nod their tongues because of pain, tend their effort to show themselves as the elect of God is completely futile. Literal Fulfillment However, if John's vision was meant to be understood literally, then earth will experience physically a third less of the sun's energy, which will directly affect the moon's luminosity. Whatever it is that will so attack the sun will also attack the stars in our galaxy, causing a uniform dwindling of astral power across Earth's sky. Some pose pollution as the source of this fourth disaster, so thickening the sky with impenetrable particles, the sun's rays literally cannot pass through. Others theorize a broader cosmic event in which the sun itself, along with the rest of the galaxy's celestial orbs, are affected. Either way, without question, such an event would trigger the collapse of whole ecosystems, causing worldwide famine and desperate need. Thank you for watching. Like, share, and subscribe our channel Sermon TV for more videos. Comment your opinion.